many of us go through life never contemplating topics like the day of judgment. We are content just living our lives in the pursuit of happiness. Most of us just want to be happy even when sometimes we cannot pinpoint exactly what that happiness is. We want to be content, live in ease, enjoy the company of our friends and family and not be bogged down with the stresses and strains of daily living. This is why if you were to ask the average person why they want to get a good job, they would probably reply to earn enough to live comfortably. If you questioned them further and asked why they want to live comfortably, they would say, just like the rest of us, because I want to be happy. Happiness is an end, not a means. It is the final destination, not the journey. We all want to be happy and we seek ways to ensure that we achieve a happy state. What makes people happy varies from one person to the next. Some work hard for years to add degrees and career credentials to their names. Some work night and day to achieve that perfect figure. Some want the comforting love of a spouse or the bustle of a family. The list is endless. Whether it is through money, status or through the love of others, everybody is involved in trying to get happy, live happily and eventually just be happy. This begs the question, what is true happiness? To answer these questions, consider the following. Just imagine that while reading this, you have been sedated against your will. Suddenly, you wake up and find yourself on a plane. You are in first class. You have your own cabin. The food is amazing. Your flatbed seat is designed for a luxurious, comfortable experience. The entertainment is limitless. The surface is out of this world. You start to enjoy all of the facilities. Think for a moment and ask yourself this question. Am I happy? How can you be? You need some questions answered first. How did you even get on this plane? Where is it headed to? If these questions remain unanswered, how can you ever be happy? Even if you started to enjoy all of the luxuries at your disposal, you would never achieve the true happiness. Would that frothy Belgian chocolate mousse on your dessert tray be enough to drown out the questions? It would be a delusion, a pretend happiness, only achievable by deliberately ignoring and suspending these critical questions. Now apply this to your life. Now ask yourself, am I happy? Until we fulfill the purpose of our creation, we can never be truly happy. We are here to worship God, which means knowing Him, loving Him, and obeying Him. Worshipping God is the ultimate purpose of our existence. It frees us from the slavery of ourselves, others, and the society. God, in the Quran, presents us with a powerful example. God put forward this illustration. Can a man who has for his masters several partners at odds with each other be considered equal to a man devoted wholly to one master? All praise belongs to God, though most of them do not know. If we do not worship God, we still end up worshipping many gods. Think about it. Our partners, our bosses, our teachers, our friends, the societies we live in, and even our own desires enslave us in some way. Take, for example, social norms. Many of us define our sense of beauty based on influential social pressures. We may have a range of likes and dislikes, but they're shaped by others. Ask yourself, why am I wearing these trousers or this skirt? Looking deeper than just saying you like it is to ask why do you like it? If we keep on probing in this way, many will end up admitting because other people like it and other people think I look nice. Unfortunately, many of these people will hold these views 
in this respect we have many masters and they all want something from us they are all at odds with each other and we end up living confused unfulfilled lives god who knows us better than we know ourselves who loves us more than our mothers love us is telling us that he is our true master worshiping him truly frees us our coming into existence is no different from being sedated and thrown on a plane we never chose our birth yet many of us do not ask the questions or search for the answers that will help us achieve true happiness in this temporary life the ultimate happiness is success in the eternal hereafter and the happy future belongs to those who are mindful of him